Welcome back to Avenues of Wisdom. My name is Kim. I speak things on all light, love, and wisdom. I'm doing another episode on Love Your Community here in the beautiful city of Duluth. And today I have a special treat for you guys. My friend Paul, he is coming to do a healing session and he is the creator of Free Flow here in Duluth where he helps others heal in balance and harmony. Uh, he also shares his art and experience in Jin Shin, and he'll tell you a little bit more about that and his story, his background. He's just a uh, a really, really beautiful part of the community here. So I wanted to uh, get him on camera here and, and have him share his experience with you. So stay tuned. And if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit that notifications button for more videos and wisdom coming your way. I know, it's not the same. <laughs> Sorry, it's that simple. Being in presence. So, I got my friend Paul here. Yeah, with Well, <laughs> through a friend of a friend. That's the best way. And I think we're supposed to align because uh, I really got some healing out of our first session. So he's the really important to me, and I wanted to spotlight him and the story. So I just want to ask you, you know, what is your, your background as far as I know growing up? Yeah. Share My that. background. Big question. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I grew up overseas in Africa, so my parents were um, worked for a mission, and uh, they. My dad was a contractor builder, so I'm still doing some of that today. Yeah. But um, my dad was a contractor builder, built hospitals. Yeah, just, uh, so he grew up in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And I think that's kind of where it starts for me in that um, I was exposed to stuff that seemed almost not natural, a little bit magical. Yeah. So, like, um, but when it becomes kind of normal, normalized, like a part of the culture or whatever, um, then you're like not afraid of it and you don't like push it away. And so like, it took me a while to kind of throw back into it. So Jinchen Jitsu, first of all, that's the, that, that. that's the thing that I'm doing um, and uh, working on and uh, working with. Um, it's an art form for helping people balance their energy and so the, you can have a practitioner like myself like can help you do it but the ultimate is that you're already doing it for yourself so like it's like i can give it away and remind people that they're already whole, just the way they are and then when you when you kind of relax into that moment then it's like your body kicks in or something like that and it's like okay if you say I am, then sure enough, yeah. wholeness shows up. And then it's not always like a physical healing. Uh, sometimes it's a, it might be a spiritual healing. Uh, mind, body, spirit, right? So that's the three. The little trinity we got. So you got mind. Sometimes we, we get cluttered in our minds and we want to let go of stuff. Well, you can do that. Um, sometimes we get cluttered in our body. So like pathways of energy in the body get blocked in. Um, a physical thing manifests, like a sore knee or a headache or you know whatever it is. Um, and then your spirit, like sometimes you just feel like down um, and you don't have that lightness of being. And so like in any of those areas, um, Jinchen Jitsu is, it's a, it's a very inclusive art form. So it works on all three levels automatically. Yeah, and so like, um, well, what really kind of got me thinking about is this a possibility for me or something like that was I had um, kind of fasciitis. So I had this um, on the back of the heel of the foot, if this is the bottom of your foot, the heel and across the palm, there's this like, um, it's, it's painful. I just have to tell you. It's is it like a sharp, sharp pain? It's like, a, yeah, it's like a cutting pain. I don't know how to describe it, but it seems like nothing stops it. And like, um, 
it was always there. It would, it would be like wane in the daytime, and then at, in the morning, first thing, boom, it would show right back up. So like there was no relief. I wore a boot to bed for two years. I tried, <laughs> I tried physical therapy. I tried all kinds of stuff. And my wife was in a book group, and my um, other friend who does Jin Jin Jutsu um, was in the book group. And my wife's like, well, this friend of ours does this energy healing thing. Maybe you ought to go try that. And so I went, and um, um, in some way she didn't even, she looked at my foot, but she didn't massage it, or she didn't really do much there. She just talked with me and helped me in different places on the body. First she listened to my wrist, and then she and then she went for it. And like she knew kind of what, what the cause for the disharmony was in my body. And don't ask me how she knew it, but <laughs> that was amazing. So like three sessions later, the first time I got up the table, my foot actually did feel better. And I thought, well, there's something to this. I'll do what she said. Hold your first finger. That's what the yeah. thing like she gave me some homework. So I held my first finger like this, just gentle. You just wrap your fingers across. And she said, well, you know, she didn't really say like, you're going to feel a pulse. It's going to feel like this. It's going to be, you know, this is what you're going for. She didn't really give me an assignment. She just said, well, why don't you just hang out and hold your first finger? She said, three to five minutes, one song on the radio. But my foot felt better, so I thought, well, what the hell? I'll just do it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just go for it. So I held my finger like this, and um, each day it felt a little bit better. I'm like, what's going on here? And so I went back to her. So we went three times, and the third time I got off the table, I put on my shoe, my shoe felt different. That's how like radically my body changed. I felt like a junior higher, like new feet. <laughs> and I had been a runner and I was in pain and I hadn't been running for a long time. So I was like, can I go for a run? Like, and she's like, yeah, you can go for a run. I probably wouldn't run a marathon today. Right. <laughs> but she goes, you know, go for a run around the block, see what you think, you know. She says it takes a while for our body sometimes to catch up to our mind and our spirit and the things that we're doing there, this energy we're doing. Sometimes it's instantaneous, but um, yeah, it takes a little while for the body to catch up sometimes. That's the slowest thing on the level of form, you know. Mm -hmm. Down here, it's a little denser, so it doesn't move as quick. Yeah. So, so it takes a little time, but that's okay. And so, you'd think like that would really turn me on to Jin Jin Jutsu. I'd be a convert. Oh, my foot's awesome. No problem. <laughs> Nope, I took my healing and went home. Just like you would go to a doctor. You know, had the surgery, you go home. I don't go have coffee with the doctor. I don't go to his family reunions, nothing like that. I didn't think anything about Jin Jin Jutsu. And then, um, uh, it was a, a good year later, um, this same person had a shoulder issue. And she said, ask my wife to come down and hold her in a certain way. And my wife said, well, you've been doing that Qigong thing. Mm -hmm. You're into energy now. Maybe you should come with me. I'm like, oh, thanks. And I really, <laughs> like, I really want it. I was like, okay, it's Sandy. I'll do anything, you know. This, uh, she shared this lovely art form with me. So I went there, and she told me to hold, hold, hold. I did. And um, long story short, um, she says, okay, we're done. And I'm like, what do you mean we're done? She's like, my shoulder's fine. And she shows me. Like her, she's totally released her shoulder, and I was like, what just happened here? She's like, that's what it is. She goes, don't hear this the wrong way, Paul, but you're really good at doing nothing. And I was like, okay. She's like, really, I think you ought to think about doing this, and you need a language. You need a language to be able to um, explain what's going on with it and Jin Shin Jutsu would do that for you. And she says, it's big enough for you. Which I was like, I didn't understand any of those words when I first heard them, but now I'm like, yes. Um, Jin Shin Jutsu is big enough. It's totally inclusive. Um, it works with everybody. It is a language that actually speaks to your body, your mind, and spirit, and allows you to adjust and understand and find balance. That's the whole thing, it's the balance. Um, of course, it looks different for everybody. Everyone's unique. Everyone's unique, so. Uh, but yeah, it's an awesome art form. And um, So she said to me, 
I want you to come to a class with me. I have to do this for credits or different things to up my classes. And I can't remember the circumstance. She had to go to this class. And she says, I'll even pay for you to go. Just come with me. I think you're going to love it. And um, so I went and I totally, like, I totally fell in love with it. Um, and in this day and age, you know, it's not, I don't know, it is common in some ways, but it's not common for a man to go into a field where I have to put hands on people and touch them. Right? Mm -hmm. So like, and, you know, like massage, yeah, that's, that's manipulation of tissues and moving energy, same thing. A little different, another language, right? Massage is a whole other language. Um, but this is like, you know, I just wasn't like about, I wasn't running to go do this. You know, it's just like, wow, I'm gonna go and hold people. <laughs> okay, but I just fell in love with it so much, and I could see the possibilities, uh, the change that people could have. And so I got super excited and jazzed about it. And, um, they said, "Well, you need to take three of these classes to be certified to teach or certified to practice." And so, like, I went boom, boom, boom. And then people said, "Like, well, when I got to the class the second time, they're like, well, you just had a class." And I'm like, I know, I gotta have another, man. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted, I was hungry, you know? And uh, they said, well, usually we wait like a year or so between us, right? So that you can like kind of assimilate, take the stuff in. It's gonna take time. And I was like, not for me. I'm like, I do not want time here, okay? I want this stuff, I'm gonna do it. Right. So I was so excited. Um, now that I've had distance from it, you know, I've been doing this for almost, I think it's almost like 10 years. So, but now that I've been doing it for that, I know what what they were saying. I do need time. I do need time with myself to learn about how it works for myself. Because the first thing they teach you in class is now know myself. So, like you're gonna work on yourself. It's not so much about like learning all the tricks to like heal people. You know? That's that comes along. That's fine. But um, the thing is, you understand yourself, and then. When you understand yourself, that natural outpouring of wanting to share or to share the love, like you're talking yeah, about, you know, with Duluth, yeah. yeah, then then that's natural. And then when you do it from a natural place like that, then it really like has it can take root and grow. The thing that I think would set Jin Chin Jitsu apart, mm. um, maybe because a lot of people are like, well, what is it? I say to people, it's like acupuncture, but without the needles. So like, I'm going to hold in places on your body, we call them safety energy lines, where the energy might be blocked, or might be slow, because maybe slow is a little gentler word, right, than blocked, that sounds like, oh, it's over, Yeah. <laughs> but if you say, it's just, it's still moving through the body, like, we're alive, right? um, so yeah, it's still moving through the body, but maybe it has to take a different route to get where it's gone. And so if you open that area and it has the smoothest one, then it's like it, it cleans, it clears, it um, frees and the body to be all it can be for you. So then like the effects that we come with, like maybe a headache or I used example of me, I had a bad foot. Um, some people have heart issues or maybe their breathing is their eyes are their ears. It doesn't matter what it is because the whole body is one um, one long train of energy. You fix one part or you help work with that part, like the whole train gets going. So like your level of en your energy or your vitality, or your balance um, shows up for you. Yeah. The easiest way to describe it that kind of sets it apart is the hand. So we say there's attitudes and um, remember I said that I was said to hold your finger, or hold this finger. This is the fear finger. I tell people that's the number one thing that's easy to remember. So this is, fear is what we're in the opposite of fear is love. So like, there you go. If you, if you let go of your fears, things that you're afraid of, or, um, and there's like a good and bad to each attitude that is associated with each of the fingers. So fear isn't like a bad thing. 
effect, but I, I was a little afraid I wasn't going to get here on time today. Mm. So that's what motivated me to take my shower, get ready, mm, you know, <laughs> get ready and go, you know? Yeah. And then I, then I hurried up and I got here and I parked the car and I made my way over here. So there was a little bit of fear that I wasn't going to arrive on time for this, this little interview. Yeah. So that's okay, but I don't live there. Mm. I don't live in fear. It's that, it's that perpetual, you know, Bathing, right? where you're just afraid all the time. That's really unhealthy. I think that's not balanced. But if you have a little bit, that's okay. It just kind of points you and helps you get where you're going. On time, like yeah. today. <laughs> well, you made it. Yeah, yeah, I made it. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. So, like the attitudes, uh, I'll just go through them quickly. Yeah. Worry, fear, um, anger. That's an easy one to Yeah, fear, anger. This is relationships or sadness. Mm -hmm. um, and I think of that because it's a ring finger, you know, marriage, mm -hmm. unity, getting along with people. Um, so that's where a lot of sadness comes. Mm -hmm. And then um, I say, in Jinshin Jutsu, they use the word called pretense, which doesn't really translate in English that much. I mean, it does, but it's like pretending. Pretense, pretend. So, like, you're holding up appearances. You're trying really hard to present a certain image to the world. Uh, and then um, it's a lot of effort to keep that up. But you want to get kind of relaxed and chill and be your normal self, right? That's different. But if you're always trying to be something you're not, effort, lots of effort, that's where the, it lives in this one. And then we have with each of those attitudes, worry, fear, anger, sadness, and trying, let's say it's trying too hard, mm. um, then there's um, also associative uh, organ functions that go with the kind of the Asian medicine model, where we have 12 organ functions, um, five and five is 10, but there's another one, palm, which is unity. And they, they in this particular system in Jin Shin Jutsu, um, they use uh, diaphragm and umbilicus as the, um, the tent, or the, I guess you would say tandem um, attitude and organ function. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole system built around this. And um, so you're, you're actually accessing the body, um, the attitude, I guess the spiritual component of balance, you know, oneness. So like you're you're hitting all of them when you do a particular posture or a hold. And in India they call them mudras. So like you see people holding their fingers like this for different things when they're meditating. Those are yeah, I could tell you like when you're holding your thumb and your third finger like that, you're actually accessing a uh, organ function in the body. You're helping an energetic pathway uh, release, and when you release that, then you're not going to have um, fear or worry. And so, like, there's ways to hold your fingers that um, can promote and um, I guess put you in a place where the energy can work. But there's a potential, and um, when the potential's there, um, and we spend time with it, then. Sure enough, it can be yours. I think it's not uncommon. But once you do feel that, or you have that in your system, then you're going to want to share it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So then you're going to do what I do. Jin -jin 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 -jin. Yeah. You're going to share it with other people. That's you know, give them the opportunity to work on it for themselves. Yes, that's where I feel yeah. because of you sharing your experience with us. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it's been fun. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. To Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. I just love sharing it. So thanks for giving me the opportunity to talk about it again. Yeah. And if anyone has any questions, you know, yeah. lay, lay it on me. I will. Yeah. Part. And I'll put uh, all of Paul's information on his website through below on the, on the link below. And, uh, yeah, everyone, thank Paul. So. Uh, it's all good. Thanks. <laughs>